Good morning. I think this is probably the hardest video I've ever had to make because of how difficult I found myself in a situation on this finance bill 2023 where there's a proposal that content creators pay 15%. Now, I am in Kisumu as you speak for a parliamentary committee meeting on broadcasting where content creators and all these people now fall. And uh, I am a content creator and I am supposed to fight for fellow content creators to either not pay or they must give a counter offer to the government on what they wish or will to pay. And uh, a quick conversation with my fellow content creators, they told me they are not planning or willing to pay. And uh, they have a very big protest coming up. Uh, one of them actually being led by my very good friend, Eric Omondi, who is also up in arms that uh, content creators should not pay the 15% tax. So I walked into the first meeting and I told these people, ah, these people do not have money. Uh, for these content creators, let it go. You might not understand because the government itself uh, just decided to have a blanket, a blanket proposal. So there's no been any counter proposal. And um, here is my take on how you people got yourself into this mess. How do I convince the government or the people who do not understand content creation? that you don't have money and you are not able to pay the 15% tax when what you show out there is that you are millionaires. Now, this is some of the things I was being asked when we were going through different content creators pages. They asked me, for example, your very good friend Oga Obina has turned 33. And uh, he says he's gift himself a very small gift. And this small gift that Obina has given himself is a VW Toreg 2017, 2018, 2019, which would easily uh, cost him five to six to seven million, depending on which Kayad showroom he buys his car. So Obina has turned 33 and has bought himself a small gift of VW Toreg. Six million. Do you know how long it will cost a teacher to save? A teacher who's being taxed to save to ever, ever buy that Toreg. All right. I say that is just one of the cases. Maybe makes his money from somewhere else that is not content creation. And they asked me where else. That is all we see. They came and so showed me a video where Ambare claims she spends 300,000 a day. 300,000 per day times 30 days. Do the math. Do the math. Then they started showing me pages of, say, Eric Omondi who is a champion of this, we can't pay, we don't have uh, that kind of money. And uh, this month alone, or the last month, Eric made more than 10 million Kenya shillings from content creation, uh, or even more. If you go to Eric Komondi's page, that is his, his uh, Instagram page. Uh, you can see that apart from any other video creates, he's doing advertising. He has advertisement for Pakamia. He has an advertisement for, for 
Sin, uh, Sinan Gynecology Clinic. He has an advertisement for for Glendale whiskey. He has an advertisement for Cafe Daily Restaurant. He has an advertisement for uh, this movers company. I don't know which movers company. Uh, there's a movers company that he works for. He has an advertisement for movie plastics. He has an advertisement for, yes, it's called Ready One Movers. He has an advertisement for PC. He has an advertisement for DTM Company Kenya. And the list goes on and on. And Eric's red card doesn't come cheap. I know because I've paid him for some work to do for me. So it doesn't come cheap. It doesn't come cheap totally. And that is just last month. And it's content creation. And uh, I don't know if he's paid tax or filed returns on the same. If you go to Mulamwa's page, Mulamwa, nilionyesho paka picha pali Mulamwa, anakula gedheri with millions stuck by his sides. A lot of money. He has several advertisements on his page. And right behind him, uh, he has this mega mansion that is building back in the village. Congratulations, by the way, Mulamwa. And my promise is still there. They showed me a couple of content creators. They said Bahati, for example, has thousands and thousands of advertisements on his page. In his Kayad, he has a Mercedes C250, the new one. He has a van. He has a Toyota TX Prado. He lives in a mega mansion. Daddy boat. If you see Mboya, Vincent Mboya, who just the other day was asking for 18000 to pay his rent, has bought a car and in his car, he has a word of millions or I think, I think, it's a million bob that is showing on how much money he makes. If you go to Crazy Kenna's page, what he drives, the, uh, the advertisements that he runs, he has a few of them. He has Beteka, he has Fair Acres, he has Safaricom, he has all these things. If you go to Sami Kyoko's page, he just finished building his mother a house, which is a very good thing. But the government doesn't see that you built your mother a house to tell you congratulations. They see an opportunity to ask where did you get this money from. When they follow down, they get it. It's content creation. They showed me a couple of pages now where they scrolled down all the way to Mungai Eve, who the other day was just a young content creator in Dandora, where she started. Congratulations on your growth, Eve. And they showed your opulence. If you go to Eve Mungai's page, I'm telling you, you can't believe, you can't believe your eyes. They just bought a car the other day. Congratulations. They showed how you guys moved in. Uh, your multi-million businesses that you now run. And they can see, the government can see that you people are making money. Uh, they went to this, all these guys. Uh, Nicholas Kiyoko, who also just... Uh, had twins the other day, the lavish, the lavish parties that you did put out there, and um, all this, uh, the car you bought to yourself. They showed me my sister's page, Akode. But I told them, Akode, 
has been a millionaire even before before <laughs> this content creation started. And they told me, no, what we see is that she's a content creator. She's a brand ambassador. Unga, brand ambassador. Naivas, brand ambassador. Rosie, and the list goes on and on and on and on. They showed me Natalie Taylor's page. She's advertising Tasca. She's going on trips. All these places. And it's so hard. I'm confronted with a situation where I don't know what to tell these people. I don't know what to tell these people. You get what I mean? No, if it's you, what, what do you guys think about this 15% tax for content creators? I don't know. Because I've been one of them. And I can tell you, I was making money as a content creator and uh, uh, I don't know how to put this or nijitete nikiwa wapi nijitete nikiwa wapi and the list goes on and on you come to top content creators like Kabi wa Jesus Kabi wa Jesus page if you go there <laughs> my friend they were showing me how you Kabi what you drive the places you live you just bought your wife uh, a Range Rover the other day. And they told me, is this, is this, are these the people you claim that don't have money to pay taxes? They showed me Abel Mutua's page, Mukurugenzi, congratulations. And they told me, this is Abel Mutua. Uh, in his last post, he just loaded his Mercedes E350 to a flatbed and it was his end with the, the Mercedes and uh, he had just bought himself a Discovery 4. I've driven Discovery 4. That car would not cost you below 6, 7 million, 5 million or above 5 million Kenya shillings. You go and ask yourself how do I convince uh, the panel that I'm about to face today, that you people don't have money. You people brought this problem to yourself. And I'm not lying to you. The government is not going to relent. What we need to do is to now come up and ask ourselves, what are we willing to make, to pay? Or how do we tell them that maybe sometimes we are just flossing? How do we show them and tell them that from content creation, Jugush has built a home and uh, he's not able to pay taxes. And uh, he just did his show the other day, sold out KICC, uh, sitting capacity uh, of that, of the Savo ballroom, 3,000 to 4,000 people, sold out, and that you are not able to pay taxes. What do I tell these people? How do I I'm supposed to go in front of this panel today to show them that uh, Botita doesn't have money to pay taxes, that content creation doesn't pay. Or if he has to pay, uh, he can't pay what you people are asking. But then they come and tell me that he runs a whole media house, SPM bars, and he has presenters, more than five, and they don't come cheap. He has editors, he has all these people. How do I convince them that you don't have the money to pay 15%? Or you out there, what do you think of this bill where artists and content creators are being asked to pay 15% tax from what they earn? Then I ask myself again, uh, my very good friend Marwa, Marwa the other day told me, talk to president that this tax is so punitive. They went to your page. They've seen the villa that you're building home that will easily cost you more than 100 million. We talked about it. Congratulations, by the way. How, how, how do I tell these people that content creation has no money when my very good friend Calligraph Jones is putting a multi-million multi-million uh, home or GK Serikal who I visited the other day 
I'd actually asked him, do I post this? He told me, go ahead and post. How? How? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Being a content creator, it's been so hard for me to face this panel and tell them that you are not able to pay this tax. What I think you should come up with a proposal, a counter offer uh, of what you are able to pay because the government is not going to stop at anything until you people pay. You can comment below, tell me what you think or uh, just let me know. Let, let, let me know, let me know uh, what you think about content creators tax. Thank you so much. This is your content creator, Mzee Dalas Munyere.